As large corporations grow, they age. They become more inward looking, they become more complicated, less flexible, and they grow more slowly. So large corporations have a long-term growth problem. And when they can't find that growth internally, they often look externally and use M&A. But the track record of securing growth through M&A is actually not great. A typical approach to post-merger integration stresses efficiency, standardization, and cost takeout. And these are all very good, but they often exacerbate the long-term growth problem. The alternative is what we're calling post-merger rejuvenation. A great example of that was Disney's acquisition of Pixar the Computer Animation Studio. By stressing not only cost, but also creativity and growth in its integration approach, Disney was able to secure not only a creative revival, but also long-term growth and great performance. Now, post-merger rejuvenation really consists of emphasizing all components of value, not only costs and growth synergies, but also capturing the vitality of the target company. And it does this by de-averaging the different parts of the integration. So there are some parts of the integration, generally back office processes, where scale and efficiency are important, and we use a classical approach to post-merger integration. There are some growth opportunities which can be processed through the greater scope of the acquiring company in order to create growth synergies. And then most importantly for long-term growth generation, the exploratory parts of each company can be protected through separation and cross-fertilized with the assets of the other company to create a rejuvenation effect. So for large established companies looking to maximize long-term growth and to rejuvenate their innovation machines, we recommend post-merger rejuvenation, which stresses all three components of long-term value, costs, growth synergies, and vitality.